Today we're showing you how to replace the front wheel bearings on your Yamaha PW50. It's going to be the same process for all of these bikes. It's pretty simple to do and it's something you want to check during your yearly service. So you just make sure that the wheel rotates smoothly and you don't have any play in the bearings. If either of those conditions exist, you want to get them replaced. So we're going to show you how to do that. To do this job, we're going to use some common hand tools, including 14, 17, and 19 millimeter combo wrenches. I've got a seal puller, and you've got a couple options to remove the bearings. You can use the hammer and punch, or you can use a 10 millimeter collet if you have this bearing removal tool. This one is from Tusk. We're also using a 22 millimeter socket to drive the bearings in. We've got a heat gun to make the job easier, and I'm using safety glasses, rubber gloves, and some rags. For parts, we have the Tusk wheel bearing kit, and these wheel bearings are sealed unlike the ones that came from the factory, and it also comes with a new seal. Other than that, we're gonna be using some grease and some brake cleaner. Since that brake drum is close by, we just wanna make sure everything is clean when we're going back together. To check the wheel bearings, you wanna make sure it's off the ground. We're gonna check and see if there's any wiggle from top to bottom in the wheel. You also want to rotate it, make sure it's smooth. If it feels rough or if you have any play in those bearings, you want to get them replaced. To remove the front wheel, we're going to use a scissor jack to help support the bike. Then we're going to remove the axle. And as we drop the wheel down, you want to pay attention to the spacer. And then you can remove that brake housing from the wheel. Now we can bring the wheel over to the bench. Now I'm gonna use my seal puller to pop this seal out. I'm gonna put the rag over the rim opposite of where I'm pulling that out just so it doesn't damage it. Now you can see this bearing isn't sealed, so that's one of the reasons why you'd wanna to upgrade to an aftermarket bearing. Now to get this out, I'm gonna use a 10 millimeter collet from our bearing removal tool. And we're also gonna heat this area up around here with a heat gun. It's gonna help it come out a little bit easier. Now we can put the collet through the bearing. I'm gonna tighten it down. That's gonna expand the collet. Then we can use the slide hammer to pull it out. And we've got a collar. Pay attention to the orientation. So this flange was on that drum brake side. Now I do want to point out, if you don't have a bearing puller, you can use a punch and a hammer to knock the bearings out from the opposite sides. But for us, we're going to flip this over. And again, we're using the bearing puller. Now, if you want to replace your rear wheel bearings, you're going to want to check out our drive shaft service video. There's three bearings back there and two of those we take out in that service video. And then there's an additional bearing in that support arm for the rear wheel. Now, before I go together, I'm making sure everything's really clean. I just got some brake cleaner on this rag. Now to go back together, we're just gonna heat up the hub. I'm using a little bit of grease on the outside diameter of that bearing. Then we've got a socket that matches that outside diameter and we're gonna drive it in place with a hammer. Now on the other side, we have the collar. Make sure you don't forget that. Once that is in place, we can drive the other bearing in the same way. And it's the same thing with the seal, except for you wanna make sure that you have grease on the lips of the seal. And again, just a little bit on the outside diameter to help it go in. Now we can bring the wheel back over to the bike. I'm gonna make sure there's a thin film of grease on my axle. Then I'm gonna set the brake assembly into the hub. 
install the spacer, then line everything up on the forks and slide the axle in. And that nut gets torqued to 23 foot pounds if you're wondering. And last, we're just gonna make sure that the wheel rotates freely and that the brakes are adjusted correctly. So that's all it takes to replace the front wheel bearings on your PW50. If you need the bearings, we've got those on our site. You can just click the link in the description below. And if you have any questions, leave those in the comments. And as always, make sure you subscribe to our channel for more helpful content. I'm Charles with Rocky Mountain ATVMC. Thanks for watching.